Hello friends, my name is Yang with a hat and welcome back to my channel. Hello. Right now I'm in Chester. It is a city in Northwest England, very famous for being a Roman fortress in the first century. There are just so many old and medieval things to see and to do around here. A few days ago, I was in a city 15 minutes from here for a work training. And when I finished that training, I was like, maybe I can just come here to do a little bit of light solo traveling. And here I am, just book a very spontaneous trip. To be honest, I was a little bit worried about feeling lonely because I was feeling a little bit down. But then I realized that if I cannot do things by myself, how can I do things and be happy with other people? So here I am, traveling by myself. I hope it's gonna be okay. Honestly, it has been good. I let myself be sad. I let myself be happy. I face with my emotions a lot over the last few days and I'm really happy about it. But right now, I wanna go outside, so I will take you guys with me. I wanna do things by myself, and I just wanna take it easy. Usually when I travel a new city, I do tourist things. I wanna see so many famous places and try local food. Those are fun too, but this time, this time I wanna do me things. I wanna go thrift shopping, take a slow walk, and not have to rush anything. And I'm gonna do that. Right now, I'm gonna go thrift shopping, which I'm really excited about because thrift shopping outside of London is really affordable. Those are much cheaper than in London, and I wanna buy so many clothes, so many vintage clothes. Also, do you see a stretch on my face? I think this is because my eye mask. When I sleep, I have to wear this, and this accidentally stretched my face like this. It hurts a little bit, but it's gonna be okay. Okay, let's go. It is so sunny and beautiful. Also, I brought my bags. That means business. Also, the one thing that I like about this place is that there's a huge tunnel. So you don't have to cross the road. You can just cross the tunnels. I'm in the tunnel right now. As you guys know, I'm kind of scared of crossing the streets. I'm kind of scared of traffic. So this is a really good thing. To be fair, it is a little bit scary to cross the tunnels at night though. So there are thrift shops and vintage shops. The thrift shops are cheaper. So let's go to the thrift shop first. Let's go to a few of them, yeah? I'm in the first store, it is called Claire's House. I want to buy some more clothes, something a little bit revealing. <laughs> this is the first shirt that I try on. I like it very much, I like the see-through a lot. I don't like the puff sleeve. Look at this, it is a little bit puffy, right? But it's only four pound. This is the second top. I think I'm gonna get this one. It's very cute. This is my size as well. It's also only four pound. Is this one too tight? A little bit. Yeah, I think it's too tight. I like this one. It looks nice. I like this one as well. I can crop it a little bit. It's time to try out the pants and the shorts. These are the first short. They are a little bit loose here, but I think it looks good. Also, look at my legs. Legs, they work, right? Work. I don't think this one's very good, yeah? And the last one is good. I like this one too. I can use it for running and going to the gym. All right, I'm gonna take these. And then the second store, the Tutan Society. It is a cute store, but I couldn't find what I liked. Right now, I'm gonna go to the third one. This one. It is called Hope House and it's huge. This is the biggest one that I've seen today. I think I will get this. It is a little bit bright, but it's really cute. Red is my color. Every color is my color. Oh my god, I found a treasure. So cool. It is a big store, but it doesn't have a lot of men's selections. I try on a few things. The first thing I try on is this Hollister shirt. It looks very nice. And the second one that I try on are these jeans. It is very hard for me to find jeans. Look at this, my thighs are way too big, my waist is small, and it's way too long for me. Now let's go to the fourth shop, British Heart Foundations. There's so many bags. I got four items and let me try them on. The first item is a yellow jacket from a brand called Pretty Green. It looks really cool, right? I don't have much yellow item in my closet. I think it fits me pretty well. This jacket is 25 pounds. This one is six pounds. I think it looks very good. It seems like I like everything, but I cannot buy everything because they're so expensive. They're kind of expensive. This one is a little long. And finally, this shirt. <laughs> I don't think it works. Now let's go to Oxfam. I've seen so many Oxfams in so many cities in the UK. They don't have a fitting room, so let me know if you think these items are good. How about these shoes? It's a fit. I also got the arguably most important things, but I missed for a long time. A belt. This is the only belt that fits me in the whole many stores that I visit. Oh my god, this bag is so cool. Let me show you. I think I get it. I got the bag. Imagine how much grocery I can fit into this. I'm so happy about it. <laughs> I think it's an impulsive purchase. Is it an impulsive purchase? It's so big. Let me show you how big it is. I look like a very small person wearing the bag. <laughs> this is the last shop that I've gone to, Barnardo's, and look at what I found. Bags! There's so many bags. I want to incorporate more bags into my outfit and look at this. This is four pound. Four. These are seven pound. I'm getting all of them. Everything that I try on today, I want to get them. Is it because I look good? Is it because I look good? It doesn't matter what I wear, as long as I look good. 
Excuse me, I'm getting all these. As you can see, these items have numbers on them. Right now, I'm going to draw a piece of paper and whatever numbers on it, I'm going to get that item. This one. 992. 992. 992 shampoo. I'm back to the hotel now. I'm just going to eat a sandwich quickly. Drink some coffee. After I finish editing the video, I'm going to go outside, have dinner, and then relax. I finished editing the video. It is 8 p.m. now, but do you know what I want to do? I want to go out for a run. I was supposed to run this morning, but I was tired and I had to edit my video. So I stayed in my hotel and edit my video. But right now we're in a new and beautiful city. I want to see everything. So let's create a challenge. I'm going to go out for a run to all the famous places. I'm going to take pictures of them, take videos of them and show them to you. And of course, I cannot bring my camera with me when I run. So I'm going to vlog by my phone. All right, I just got a new phone too. So I'm more excited. So let's go. Right now I'm in just the middle. It is like an area where they plant a lot of plants, especially native plants, to make it green. Like this. So many things. I'm breathing so hard right now because I've been running for 2k. Yesterday when I ran here, I saw some horses. Like they were so chill. They were just laying there and I didn't even want to do anything to disturb them. Yeah, I love them so much. They're so cute. They're very big though. Yeah, look at this. It is so beautiful. I wish I had a big park like this next to my house so I can run every single day. I mean, I'm still running every single day, but just not at a beautiful park like this. It's golden hours as well. I'm so pretty. <laughs> I found the horses. Look at the horses. They're running away from me though. Let me show you. Hi, horses. I don't want to get too close to them though. I'm afraid that they will run after me. I know horses are friendly, but just in case, you know, because I don't want to agitate them. Okay, I'm gonna go back this way. But look at this, look at the source. Look at the bank, the river bank. Last time I saw so many dogs swim here. They're so cute. I kinda wanna get close to the horses though. No, maybe not, maybe not a good idea. All right, bye horses. Those are the horses. Bye bye, I'll see you later. Look at all the pollens. My friends with hay fever can never. This is the Queen's Bridge. It is so pretty. It is so old as well. Oh, see the bird? It is 1923. It is 100 years in 2023. Whoa, this is so cool. This is the bridge from another angle. Look how pretty. Yeah, I know, I'm talking about me. <laughs> I'm so pretty. <laughs> Just joking. And this is the river day. It is so cute. Let me walk down here. Look at all those chickens. Look at that. And the ducks as well. Aw, oh, are they together? They are together. And right now, I'm gonna go up the stairs. Look at these huge stairs. And I'm gonna show you a very beautiful ruins. This is called the Eastern Ruins of the Church of St. John the Baptist. It has stood here for more than 900 years. And let me show it to you right here. <laughs> it is magnificent, right? And this is the Governor Park. It is one of the biggest park in Jester. It is so beautiful as well. All right, one of the things that I'm worried about traveling by myself this time is that I will get lonely because, you know, I just went through some stuff. What if I come here and I will feel sad about it and I will not enjoy the vacations and I spend so much money on hotel already. But I feel fine. I'm feeling fine now. I'm actually enjoying time by myself there's some downtown I face my emotions but that will help me heal as well so uh, I'm loving this I'm loving this energy for me and I wish any of you is going through this will also feel better about this because in the future if you spend time with another partner of yours you will not have this time by yourself so enjoy as much as you can all right so uh, I'm gonna go back to running now but look at this it is so pretty yay and there are so many teenagers, I'm so scared of them. About 10 minutes ago, when I vlogged with this, a group of teenagers behind me just keep yelling at me. And I was just like, I just ignore them. But I was a little bit scared inside. I just act cool though. I'm just like, yes, just let them be, just let them be. I don't know, if they get physical, I start running, but I run really fast. <laughs> right now, I'm at Jester Rose. It is a street full of old and historical buildings. Look at all these, they are so pretty. And actually, can go upstairs. Let me show you upstairs. Look, there are two levels. I can go up there. Look at this. And down here. Whoa. Like, how cool is that? I'm back now. I ran to so many places and I also had dinner. A big ramen bowl. I'm not sure if I can use any of the footage on my phone. But I'm glad that I did something because I was feeling a little bit down, honestly. It's been a long day, but we did great. Wait, do I want to show you guys the cloth I thrifted? Maybe tomorrow. It is dark now. The lighting is not that good. Alright, tomorrow. I'm up already. I've been up since six hours ago. I have to edit my video. But right now, I have to check out of the hotel and go to the zoo. I'm so excited to go to the zoo. I'm gonna see so many animals. It's like my world, you know, where I go inside and I see so many things. <laughs> I'm excited, but I'm kind of late to check out the hotel. I have to do it now. 
I met the zoo already and a taxi driver told me that just the zoo, the zoo is one of the biggest zoo in Europe. I didn't even know that. I'm so excited right now. I'm so hungry right now. I spent the whole morning cleaning up the room and editing my video. So right now I'm so happy that I have something to eat. I just ordered a vegetarian Malaysian curry. It smells so good. This is butternut squash. So let me have a big bite. Cheers. Mmm, so good. And a big piece of naan as well. I just checked Google and it recommends 6 hours to visit the zoo. Even then you cannot see the whole thing. Imagine how big that is. I'm just sad that I cannot have anyone visit with me. But at the same time, I also feel privileged that I'm able to work from home and just travel. Someday, I will find somebody that can do all of this with me. But for now, I will enjoy it by myself. I finished eating. Let's go and visit the animals. Before that, let me show you my outfit. I just realized that I haven't shown you my outfit before. I thrift all of these items except for my pants yesterday. Look at this top. It is so cool. It is a big prop as well. I thrift it for five pounds. And this bag as well. I love it. It can fit so many things. I have my charger here, my camera here, and a book here. So many things. This is the whole outfit. Now let's go and meet my animal friends. It's Asian elephants. I know I recognize them somewhere. <laughs> They're my friends. We are about to enter the butterfly journey. There will be so many butterflies here. Some of my friends are really scared of butterflies. I don't know why. I personally love butterflies very, very much. So pretty. Come here. Please. Come here. In Vietnam, we believe that if a butterfly lands to us, it meant a dead relative coming back to visit us. And it's so beautiful, it's so meaningful. Oh, look at these two. So beautiful. Oh, oh my god, lions are nearby. I got to see the lions. Also, I'm a tiger. Do you know that in my Chinese horoscope, I'm a tiger? So am I the king of the jungle or is the lion? Gotta compete for that spot, you know? The lion's enclosure is huge, but I don't see any lions. They're probably scared of me, you know? They're scared of the tiger, the tiger king. <laughs> Actually, I kind of want to see a lions. Oh my god, a peacock! It is dancing! I think the peacock is showing off like that because it wants to attract me. You know, it wants to draw my attention. <laughs> oh, look at them, they're so pretty! It's me, I'm the flowers too. I'm about to see a jaguar. I've never seen a jaguar before. What is a jaguar? Oh my god, I saw something running by. They're so cute. Is it a fox? Those are the sloths. They're so far up. If you cannot read the sign, the ground is the sloth toilet. They come down once a week to poo. <laughs> this is so funny. I cannot see any jaguar. I think jaguar is a panther. They're sleeping. Great green macaw. Macaw. Wait, when you pronounce the word caw, it sounds like a bird sound. Caw, caw. Macaw. Macaw. <laughs> oh my god, they're releasing the chimpanzee. They're so big. There's a baby one on the back of a big one. The chimpanzee looks so chill. They're just finding food and eat. Right now, let's visit Planet Shark. Do you know that sharks are older than dinosaur? <gasps> this is so cool. I'm so excited to see the sharks. So big. It is just a museum of some sort. Why did I think there's actual sharks in there? For these lizards, it's always fun to try to find them in their enclosures. They're so good at hiding. Where are you? Oh, I found you. Oh my god, red pandas. I saw these in Turning Red, right? The movie Turning Red. Oh my god, flamingos. There's so many of them. They're so pink, just like me. I'm so pink now. I got sunburned. I've never seen a flamingos on two legs before. It's my lucky day. That one's so funny. It is so big. I struggle a little bit here. I need to find the bathroom, the toilet. Excuse me, where's the closest toilet? I got distracted by the penguins. They're so cute. Now I really need to go. It has been released. All good now. <laughs> right now I'm just resting, drinking water out of a paper cup. This still doesn't sell plastic water bottle, so I've been carrying this paper cup that I kept me in the beginning. And as for tap water everywhere I go. It's been hot and sunny, so I'm just going to rest a little bit. Let me see the giant otters. I can't see anything. There's no otters in here. I see a reflection of myself. Am I an otter? <laughs> no, I'm a twink. <laughs> right now I'm in the bat area. There are free flights, so the bats can fly everywhere. There's a bat fly over me like this. That is so cool being able to see the bat fly. I can feel them and I can smell them too. They don't smell that good, but it's very cool to see them fly. I mean, I saw a lot of bats already, but not as a nest. Not together. I've never seen this animal before. Tapir? Tapir? I'm so happy I finally saw one capybara in real life. I've never seen them before. Tree kangaroo. I've never seen a tree kangaroo before. I used to saw these a lot in Vietnam when I was a kid. Jewel wops. 
but I don't see them very often anymore. They're so pretty though. They look kind of scary, but they're pretty. It's a free roam bird song. There's so many birds flying around here. So cool. They're flying. We can go on the boat too, but I think it would take so long. So I don't think I would do it. All right, it's been a good long day. Right now I'm gonna go back to the hotel, get all messed up and go back to London. Maybe before that, I'm gonna have dinner first. The gift shop, I'm kinda excited for this one too. Oh my god, I wanna get the red panda so much. Look at this face, it's so cute. And the bat too. Look at the bat. It's so pretty. Oh, the sloth. But look at the orangutan. Look at this. Look at the face. He's been thinking a lot, just like me. I think I should get something, right? Oh my god, I look at this small one. Oh, so cute. Oh, you're so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna get you then. Oh my god, this one looks so familiar. Look, how's he even here? Do you guys remember? <laughs> I cannot escape this place. But also, this one is cute though. Look at this grass shoppers. Uh, well, it's a very big taxi. I feel so privileged. <laughs> I'm gonna have dinner here at the boathouse. It is next to the river, so the view is amazing. I feel so good already. I met a friend who works at this restaurant. That's why he's able to reserve this spot for me. The restaurant is quite busy at the moment, so I'm glad I got it, you know? <laughs> Oh my god, the food is here. It looks amazing. It looks so big. I ordered a center roast with three types of meat. And look at this. It is huge. I cannot wait to try it though. Let me try it. So good. What the hell? It is so good. My friend made me this. He's the chef here. Yorkshire pudding. Okay, good food. I'm done now. Let's go back to London. So my solo trip to Chester has officially been concluded. It is a great trip overall. I did so many things by myself, although there's too many things that I didn't do. I'm still glad that I went on this trip, you know. And thank you very much for spending time with me, and I will see you guys next time. Alright, bye!